Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the outpost. As you can see right here, I've got uh, some steel that I stopped by and picked up. I've got uh, three pieces. They're 10 foot long of uh, three inch by three inch by quarter inch thick steel. And then I've got a three by five 10 foot length of steel because I do have to off offset some of those for the cabin. What I've decided to do to make it more structurally sound, um, I'm going to add these at every joint on the beams on the bottom and the top of the cabin. I don't necessarily have to because they're mortised in tenon and my uh, tenons are humongous. And uh, But I thought, you know, since I'm starting to work back on the cabin, uh, now is the time to do it if I'm going to do it. Uh, we're not really in a um, severe area for, um, you know, high winds, although we do get those from time to time. Uh, but they're not, you know, real substantial. And then tornado activity, you know, of course, it wouldn't stop a tornado, but um, we don't get that very often, uh, especially here in the mountains. Um, the low-lying areas, you know, maybe once every 10 years or so, you know, you have some sort of freak activity in the area. Uh, this is just not an, that type of area. So we do get a lot of rain, you know, but um, anyway, I've decided to go ahead and put these in there for kind of peace of mind that would just... Like I said, make it more structurally sound. It was only $200 for this. My neighbor, my great neighbor, he offered to cut it up for me and um, also tap the holes in there because he's got a drill press. So I figured, you know, why not? I'm starting to work back on uh, the cabin. I'm starting with the flooring and the knee walls down there for the rock wall. Uh, so now's the time to do that if I'm gonna do it. And I decided, you know, since the cost wasn't that great, that I would go ahead and add all of that in there. So anyway, I'm gonna run up here, unload it, and um, I will be back. So y'all sit back, stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, a little change of plans. I came up here, brought the steel, dropped it off, and my neighbor told me that uh, if I wanted to, I could stay up here and cut it up because he had some other things that he needed to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show a little bit of the process of cutting up this angle iron on this saw here so that you all can uh, see that being done. And then I don't know that I'll get to it today because there's quite a few pieces to cut, but then we will tap, have to tap all the holes in the angle iron, but uh, I'll try to get you some video so that y'all can see that in process, so hope you enjoy.
See, these think they're special. Why need all their other feet? This one likes to be fitted. Oh, she likes it. She's a little easier to get along with. Come on, Twinkle. <laughs> Welcome back to the outpost. That's my part. You miss me? I've learned that I've got to get it in before she does. Um, so, y'all, I've got a surprise in here. Uh, actually, I had a friend who got uh, Matthew, who got uh, a bear, and uh, he brought me the hide. I told him if he ever got one that I'd like to have it so that I could tan the hide and, and have it for the cabin when I got it done. I work the next 24 hours starting tomorrow, so probably what's going to happen is I'll have to spend a couple of days working on this uh, hide to get it prepared to tan. So, um, can, anyway. I, can I tell everybody something? Honey, he was so happy that Woody got him a bear. Like, I, call, I FaceTimed him. He actually beat me. He sent me the picture before I could send him the picture. And he couldn't wipe that smile off his face. Well, you know, it's exciting to have, um, you know, things, uh, antiques and stuff like that, backwoods kind of stuff. That's going to be my theme with everything that I'm doing. And, um, and a friend you know, that it, instead gave of, you his first bear. Instead of the hide being thrown away, you know, um, I mean, they, they kept all the meat, you know. And we do have, in the area, we have um, shelters and a lot of the wild game when they're harvested. Uh, they go to um, a lot of the hunters they can donate portions to feed the hungry and so they will be able to go down to uh, the local shops and be able to pick out steaks and tenderloins and 
things like that, you know, um, within reason a certain amount and be able to take that home if they are, um, you know, financially strapped and things like that. So uh, it's a good thing. And he actually did bring me a tenderloin strap and I've got it in the freezer at home. Um, but the hide, I told him that I wanted it to be able to tan it and work it up for the cabin when I got it done. So, yeah, that's exciting to get. Oh, um, it was really exciting. If yeah. I could have taken a picture of his face and shown you, you couldn't wipe the smile off of it. It almost was like tickling his ears, the sides of his... But hopefully, I can tan this one out and it'll make a nice hide that I can hang on the wall of the cabin. So, this water had actually drained out overnight in this brand new can. So what we're going to do is we're going to run up to my sister's house. We're going to clean the hide off again. We're going to start all over uh, because of having to work for the next 24 hours. I'm going to put this trash bag liner on the inside that, so that it will actually hold that water. So you guys stay tuned. We'll be right back. Oh. How does a farmer count his cattle? With a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a sleeping bull? A bulldozer. A bulldozer. <laughs> <laughs> we had one of those in church. <laughs> yeah, we did. Oh, me. Oh, okay. You know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow's Jamaican day at school. I'm dreading it. Dreading it. <laughs> Listen, that one was the best one of them all, I thought. <laughs> you all stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys, we got that um, bear skin taken care of, so hopefully it will keep now over the next 24 hours until I get off of work. Uh, what we're fixing to do, I've got two plates here that I've been working on. You all seen me. Um, Right here, I'm going to have more of these plates, which are three by three, and then here's some that's three by five, because on some of those um, beams, uh, what I'm going to have to do is, if I got one coming in at this angle right here, then I have to have these bottom holes offset. Otherwise, the holes uh, they would be too close where the all thread or the um, lag bolts would actually meet. So. By having one lower than the other, you know, I'll be able to get away with that. But anyway, we're going to be setting the majority of these right now. So, this is going to be Jennifer's first try with the big power drill right here. And uh, I've got to get the generator cranked up for this thing because all the batteries on the others are a little bit low. So, we're going to get this fired up then and see if we can't get some of these installed.
Okay guys, um, we're at a stopping point because the other day when I was actually cutting these angle iron pieces, um, the blade to the bandsaw actually broke. So I had to go get it fixed and I didn't um, get back in time in order to get any more holes drilled. So I'm going to have to drill more holes and cut some more angle iron, but we did manage to get uh, almost this whole square done right here. I still need um, a couple more of the smaller brackets and some all thread to go through on that post. Then this one right here would actually be ready for floor joist. Um, with the exception I'm going to put a plate under here, um, a 12 inch plate. That way it'll overhang an inch and a half on each side and just give me um, a little bit more support. You know, it may be overdone, but it gives me a little bit more support for the floor joist to sit on, um, besides the hangers. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with overdoing it in the beginning, because it'd be quite hard to go back in there and change it later. So, uh, right now, while it's all open, um, it would be really easy to do that. The other thing that I need to do is I can actually start putting this wall up in here. Um, but yeah, as soon as I get some more holes drilled, we'll put some more of these uh, pieces of angle iron and we'll just keep going on with this. Anyway. But can I say something? Mm -hmm. Do you ever do anything the easy way? No, he does not. He would rather go big or go home. Like if you're gonna be a bear, you might as well be a grizzly type deal. That is his motto. Why not? Well, and you know, I agree. Either do it right the first time or don't do it at all, so. Sometimes I've had um, wishes that I had done it the way I was gonna do it the first time, so. Um, you know, these have plenty of support with these massive tenons and mortises, but there's nothing wrong with putting that added extra feature, that angle iron in there. It just gives you more peace of mind that if for whatever reason you lost the tenon, that the angle iron is still gonna support it, you know. So I've got a backup basically. And uh, anyway, and then the wall underneath, that's gonna help support it too. The other thing will help to keep it from racking. You know, if one of the pins were to break on the inside for whatever reason in a big storm or something like that, you know, um, the angle iron, you know, that's helping to hold it too, so. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and make this video a little bit short today because it's getting later up in the evening and um, I'm kind of at a stopping point with no angle iron. And my hairs went curly. It started out straight. So yeah, it's definitely a cut it out. And she's got to go give the little man, the little dog, some insulin too. So he's uh, a diabetic insulin dependent. So, Twice a day. Yeah. Anyway, hey, I've only got two more working days left. So that's exciting. Anyway. All right, guys, we're glad that you had time to stop by and hang out with us. We greatly appreciate all your support, and uh, thank you so much for, um, you know, all that you guys do and the comments that you make and things like that. So we hope that you all have a great afternoon. She may not when I get done with her. We hope you all have a great afternoon. Take care, and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the Outpost next time. Be safe. Right. Oh my. I